Hey guys, what's up? I am back with another video. In this video, I have the latest Vivo V27e. In this video, I will be comparing the Vivo V27e against the Infinix 020 and both phones is powered by MediaTek Helio G99 SoC with 8GP of RAM. So on the back, we have a triple camera on both phones and Infinix has a 108 megapixel main camera with a 13 megapixel ultra wide while the vivo has a 64 megapixel optical image separation main camera also we have 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor and the back on both phones is made up of elastic as well as the frame we have an in display the fingerprint scanner on the vivo versus inside the power button on the infinix 020 so on the bottom we have headphone jack on the 020 which you don't find at all on the vivo v27e which is a really disappointing thing and infinix has a stereo speakers while the vivo has a single speaker so now let's quickly board both of these phones up at the same time very very excited to see that which one will be faster and the vivo v27e is running on android 13 with a front touch os version 13 while 020 is running on android 12 with xos version 12.6 i believe so infinix 020 faster when it comes to booting up while vivo it is also done as well so you can see we have a two or three second difference between these devices when it comes to booting up and now let's talk about the displays between these devices and vivo v2070 has a 6.6 inch full hd plus amoled with a 120 hertz refresh rate also we have a center punch hole on the vivo v27e while the infinix 020 also has a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED. We have 90 Hz refresh rate with a U-shaped notch on the top. Uh, so you can see on the bottom chain, it is more smaller on the Vivo V27e. So everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. So phone dialer slightly faster on the Infinix. So next on the list is the settings, little faster on the Infinix. Now let's go to the display. So we have a 90 Hz refresh rate versus a 120 Hz on the Vivo V27e. So now check out some more apps. Now let's start off with the Amazon shopping. Slightly faster on the Infinix. Scrolling wise, really smooth performance on both phones. But Vivo, it looks little more smoother if I see very closely. So now let's open that. And that is very similar. So now check out some games application. Now let's see Candy Crush Saga. So 020 is slightly faster. Instagram faster on the V27e. Snapchat, Spotify, that one faster on the Vivo. Subwoofer and Helio G99 on both phones, but still, Infinix is overall little faster than the Vivo. So let me show the speakers on both phones. First on the Vivo. And here is the Infinix. And the speakers it is a little more better on the Infinix has a little more bass over the Vivo. So now let's see Temper and 2. This time Infinix is taking the lead. As you can see Helio G99 is perform more optimized I would say on the 020. So this time we have a two second difference which I did not expect that and now let's see PUBG mobile heavy game let's see in that game which one is faster and both phones has a Helio G99 SoC with Mali G57 MC2 GBU so that is very similar performance also we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate on both phones no 60 FPS even on the Vivo now let's check out Twitter, slightly faster on the Infinix. Now let's open Zedge. And this time the, that is very similar. Scrolling wise, both phones looks 
really really smooth so last time I launched the cameras on both phones the for camera application so let's see which one is faster so in Phoenix open the camera fast faster and the cam performance I feel it is more better on the Vivo V27e anyways now let's look at the front facing camera and the front facing camera it is miles better on the Vivo Vivo looks more natural as well as more better with the exposure level as compared to the Infinix. Okay guys, now let's see internet browsing speed. So I am seen to fall Google Chrome on both phones. So wikipedia.org, slightly faster on the 020 and scrolling phase pretty smooth. So now let's open this, little faster on the Vivo. Scrolling wise, both phones looks pretty smooth. So next on the list is apple.com, slightly faster on these. 020 Apple Vision Pro only for thirty five hundred dollar. So Vivo looks little more smoother while on the Infinix GTNS. So now let's check our RAM management on both phones. We have eight GB of RAM. Phone dialer still there. Settings. Amazon shopping. Dead cart refresh on the Vivo. Candy Crush Sega. Instagram. Snapchat. Spotify Subway Surfer So again refresh on the Vivo while Infinix is performed excellent in the RAM management Temper into still there in the memory Let's see PUBG Refresh on the Vivo and now let's check out Twitter Zedge Last way back to the internet browser where we left as you can see and guys over up to say regarding the app's opening speed. As you can see that in the Vivo V27e as well as the Infinix 020, both phones is perform very similar in most of the applications, but Infinix 020 is perform little more faster in games, I would say, over the Vivo V27e, despite having a same SOC on both phones. So in terms of the RAM wise in that area, and the Infinix is performed excellent in the RAM management while on the Vivo we have some refresh. So now let's talk about the battery sizes. So the Vivo has a 4600 mAh battery size with a 66 watt super fast charging while on the Infinix we have 4500 mAh battery size with a 45 watt fast charging. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like this video. So do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos like this and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.